In this video, we're going to highlight some of the things we really like about the Shark Rocket Pet Pro Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. Now, there are a lot of different Shark Rocket cordless models, and they're broadly grouped into three categories. You've got the Shark Rocket Cordless, the Shark Rocket Pro Cordless, and the Shark Rocket Pet Pro Cordless. Now, within each one of those groups, there's a bunch of different models, and they are differentiated by a host of features. Things like the kind of brush roll you get, whether or not the wand is flexible, whether it has HEPA filter or not. Um, some of them have a removable battery, some don't. Uh, there's a host of different features. In addition, you may get a different tool set. Now, we happen to have model IZ140C here. This is a Shark Rocket Pro cordless vacuum cleaner and let's take a look at what you get when you buy this particular unit at the end you can see the charger and we've got a couple of tools that's a an upholstery tool and a crevice tool of course you get the vacuum cleaner it's got all the filters in it when you get it and you have a quick start guide and an owner's manual one of the first things we like about this machine is that it operates as a stick vacuum and also a handheld vacuum. Now, this two-in-one functionality you see with a lot of cordless units today, but not all. Now, you can see as a stick vacuum, I'll turn it on. Okay, so you've got your stick vac mode. Now, you can simply remove the wand and cleaner head there and you have a handheld unit. Let's take a tool, this is the crevice tool, and okay. Now you have a handheld vacuum. We like that the vacuum is slim and compact. It makes it easy to store. It's a fairly good fit for a small home. In addition, this cleaner head has a really nice low profile. So you can see how it's easy to get this kind of thing under low furniture, for example. We feel that the vacuum is easy to move and that it turns fairly well. You can see just by kind of twisting my wrist and moving my arm a bit here, the uh, head of that vacuum moves quite easily. In addition, this unit weighs 7.3 pounds. Now, you know, whether that's light or heavy depends on what you're used to. Certainly, as an upright, that's extremely lightweight. There are cordless units out there, however, that are lighter. But we do feel that 7.3 pounds does allow this thing to move easily and uh, turn easily as well. We find the dust canister pretty easy to empty. Now, you do have to uh, remove the wand because the dust canister door here will not release with the wand on. This is the released, uh, release lever here. As you can see, that dust canister door won't open. So we're gonna pull the wand off. Now we press this, opens up, dust and debris fall out, close it up. It's really easy. Now, uh, we do find that um, most of the debris does come out. Occasionally you will have to reach in and get some stuff out. Um, that's pretty much the same with uh, most cordless units that we've run into. So all in all, fairly straightforward to empty this unit. We were kind of impressed at just how effective this fin brush roll on the uh, Shark Rocket Pro was. Now, just to show you how different this unit is, we've, we've taken... Uh, this is the brush roll, or the cleaner head, off of the Shark NV682. It's, a, it's not a cordless machine. This is a full-size upright, or almost full-size. Um, you can see this is your typical bristled brush roll. Now over here with the Shark Rocket Pro, there are no bristles at all. This thing has fins. And, you know, the first time I saw this, I thought, geez, how effective is this going to be? But um, it turned out to be pretty good. Now we've got some clips uh, further on in this review where we show this unit on carpet, bare floors, and a few other things. Um, all in all, though, I just want to show you here how different this is from a traditional brush roll. We like how easy it is to maintain the filters. Now you have two pre-motor filters and one post-motor filter. To access the filters, you have to remove the dust canister. Now there's a button right here. If we press that in, the dust canister comes right off. Now we've got your pre-motor filters here. This is a felt pre-motor filter, and this is a foam pre-motor filter. Both are rinsable in water, and when they're completely dry, they can just be put right back in the machine. Now, your post-motor filter sits right here. You can just pull that whole assembly out. This too can be rinsed in water, and when it's dry, just put back in the vacuum cleaner. Now, to put this dust canister back on, put the bottom end in, and click. There you go. Pretty easy um, filter maintenance. 
We like the tools on the vacuum. They feel fairly solid. They're not really flimsy in any way. Now this is your 8 inch crevice tool, which is a decent reach for a crevice tool. This is an upholstery tool and it's got a swivel head. Makes it kind of handy. Now these tools can go on to the end of your handheld, but also at the end of the wand if you want that additional reach. Um, now let's take the wand off. I'm going to put the crevice tool here onto the handheld component. Now you'll notice that it clicks into place. That's completely secure. It will not come off unless you press this button here and it easily comes off. Now this is so much nicer than compression fit where you have to push the tools and pull them off. So you can see how well that works. Now if you wanted that extra reach, you can add the wand. Now let's take the cleaner head off here. Attach the wand to the handheld unit. And we can take the crevice tool and put it on the end here. I'm going to show some cleaning tests, but first I just want to touch on a couple of the controls and features. Now, here is a slider. It's got three settings. It's got uh, off, bare floors, and carpet. It's easily accessible by your thumb here. Now, I'll just push that to bare floors. You can see it gets the brush roll spinning. Now I'll move it to carpet and you'll see that the brush roll spins faster. Okay, between bare floors and carpet it doesn't actually increase suction. It's just moving that brush roll quicker. If you want to increase suction there is a boost trigger here. Now I'll put the unit in bare floor mode and then pull on that boost trigger and you'll hear the difference. Okay. Our first cleaning test is on this low pile carpet here. Now we've created the debris by carefully measuring an amount of split green peas, an amount of flax seeds, and an amount of chili flakes using this very sensitive scale. And we've put that debris all together and placed it in an approximately five foot long line, run the vacuum over it in about a 10 second pass, and determined percentage pickup. Now, we've run the Shark Rocket Pro. We've also run the Shark Ion Flex and the Dyson V8. As you could see in that test, the Shark Rocket Pro did a pretty good job. And when we calculated percentage pickup, the Shark Rocket Pro came in at 99.9%. .9%. It picked up virtually everything. Shark Eye on Flex, 98.4, still pretty good. And lagging a little bit behind was a Dyson V8 at 96.2%. We also performed a test on our tile floor with the same three machines. In those last tests, you can see that the Shark Rocket Pro did a really good job 
on our tile floor. It picked up 99.2% of the debris. The shark ion flicks picked up 96.5% of the debris. And we did two runs for the Dyson V8. And that's because we have the V8 Absolute and it comes with two cleaner heads. Not all V8s come with two cleaner heads. Now, the direct drive cleaner head, which is this one here with the uh, bristles, well, that only picked up 91.8%, not particularly good. Now, when you swap over to this soft roller cleaner head, which is designed specifically for bare floors, well, pickup increased substantially to 99.6%. We also did a quick hair test. We took long black hair and short white pet hair, put it on this low pile carpet and ran our Dyson V7 motor head and the Shark Rocket Pro over them. Now, remember the Rocket Pro has 0M technology, which is designed to limit hair wrap. I think you can see that the Zero M technology on the Rocket Pro cleaner head did a pretty good job of limiting the hair wrap, especially if you compare it to a more traditional like brush roll that you see on this Dyson V7. So in those tests we saw excellent performance on our low pile carpet. We saw really good performance on our tile floor. Pet hair pickup was good and the Zero M technology ensured limited uh, tangling of hair in the brush roll. So overall we were pretty pleased with the performance of the Shark Rocket Pro in our cleaning tests. Now, in addition, something else we just wanted to bring up was the fact that this unit has three charging lights. That's really kind of handy because it gives you a level of granularity in determining just how much of a charge is on the battery. Some units have one charging light, kind of lets you know whether the unit's charged or not charged. Not so handy. With three, you've got an idea whether you've got a third of a charge, two thirds of a charge, or a full charge. It's just kind of handy, a little bit helpful when you're vacuuming and also sometimes when you're charging the unit. I'm just going to turn it on here. I think you'll see there are two bars that light up of the three. There you go, and that tells us we've got approximately two thirds of a battery charge. So those are some of the things we really like about the Shark Rocket Pro Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. Now there are some things about this machine we don't like, and you can see those in our video entitled What We Dislike About the Shark Rocket Pro Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. Thanks very much for watching.